Welcome back to ITW Extra, powered by JSA. We are here live at ITW 2023 in National Harbor. This is day three of our broadcast, our final day. Uh, we still have some exciting interviews for you. And joining me live on the Expo Fuller is Ed Galvin. He is the CEO of DC Byte. Ed, welcome to ITW Extra, powered by JSA. Thank you very much. Good to be here. Yes, it's great to see you here. I know you were just at Data Cloud in Monaco not too long ago. Now we're here at ITW. Uh, so are you enjoying the show so far? I mean, it's it, it, it gets bigger and bolder every year, doesn't it? It it's, does. It's fantastic. I, I, well, it's, it's, we're in an industry which is, is, is evolving so quickly. And being able to not just look at our own particular area, which is the data center front, but looking at how it interfaces with uh, the network, with the telco side, yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's been a fantastic show. One of the biggest ITWs to date. Um, and, you know, I've been hearing a lot and peeking around on your website about how DC Byte demystifies uh, the data center industry. Why don't you talk to us a little bit about that? Particularly, I found this quote, when we first came on the scene, obtaining accurate industry information was virtually impossible. Can you dive a little bit deeper into that for us? Yeah, I mean, look, it was, yeah, the industry has grown incredibly quickly. And, so fast. You know, eight years ago, we were talking about people barely acknowledging the existence of their facilities. They felt that secrecy was the first line of defense for, for, for mm -hmm. their operations. And, you know, like it or not, there is, we're in a situation now where uh, digital infrastructure, data centers, they are in the limelight. And with DC Byte, what we've tried to do is to uh, help the industry, you know, surface out, understand that we are now a established industry and it's healthy, it's more productive in the long run for us to be able to uh, uh, organize, view, uh, right. and, and rationalize the industry. Otherwise, uh, it's always going to be uh, something which has a lot of mystery and opaqueness and uh, making, you know, from our side, making any, any sort of decisions that are made from a, uh, a less informed position are always going to be worse decisions. Yeah. I mean, you talked a lot about the growth rate of the industry, and we've seen it, like you said, over the last eight years, just completely come to the forefront and uh, it's going to only continue to grow, right? So we've been hearing a lot about that here on the floor. Uh, why don't you talk to us a little bit about how DC Byte uh, is taking those insights and that growth and how are you bringing that to market? Oh, I mean, the first thing that you've got to do in this industry, because it's growing everywhere, is to be everywhere. There's mm -hmm. no substitute for that. So we can't, uh, we're a London-based firm, but we can't do global you know, we can't do global research from just from London. So it's it's getting people in every country, getting the right languages, the right cultural skills, uh, being persistent, not just looking at what's there right now, but it's also looking at what's coming up in the future. Uh, there is a, because of the way that the industry is evolving, it's right. not having any prior assumptions. Uh, it's very easy to, uh, shall we say, get the, you know, get the, uh, the, the, the data to fit the model. And that's uh, in an industry which is you know, quintupling in size every every five years. That is a, a risky business to go by. Yeah, it is. And, you know, you just mentioned you are a global company um, expanding rapidly uh, in your own right. And there's thousands and thousands of data centers now across the world. So how are you working to gather and compare this data across all these key markets, um, regardless of location? Uh, a lot of it is, is working through a lot of shoe leather these days. <laughs> uh, it's, it's funny. Um, companies will say one thing, and uh, there may be a, a, a slight variation on what's going on in reality. Um, so it, it, it's multi-layered. It's as much about looking at uh, you know, building those relationships around the world, right. making sure that we become seen as that trusted partner for them. Um, but it's equally getting on the ground it's looking at these sites, looking at, and visiting the the tier two, the tier three markets as much as you're, vis, if you're you know visiting the the, the, the tier one markets. Uh, you can't just uh, you you can't just rely on 
looking at those core one, you know, tier one markets, and then assuming that that everything else, uh, you know, will, doesn't need to have the same level of, of scrutiny. Yeah, it's so true. I mean, the tier two and tier three markets are definitely exploding and showing a lot of growth as well. Is that what you're seeing? Oh God, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and in fact, it's 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 even more than that. Right. When you look at uh, where the the highest returns are to be found. It's it's not in you know, building another data center in Ashburn or, or, or London. It's going into those markets where there isn't that established player, where you are ultimately solving problems for the hyperscalers. You know, exactly. they, they they want to get into these big markets and, and sorry into these these markets with a lot of opportunity. But at the same time, you want to be making sure that you're you're able to to solve those problems for them because they can't go in there they don't know anything about those about those markets already and that's what your research provides correct yeah, yeah. great uh, so all this talk about what you do what DC byte does uh, can you share any insights in particular we talked a little bit about tier one tier two tier three markets but let's get a little bit more geographically uh, specific here right so what does it look like for the US market compared to where, you, where you're based in London and EMEA and APAC. And, you know, we're hearing a lot about these markets. They're emerging, they're exploding. Why don't you give us some key insights there? Sure, yeah. So, I mean, the U.S. is a, is a and North America is a huge domestic market. It, there is a lot of opportunity, um, and that can be a blessing and it can be a curse because what it means is that because there's such a lot of opportunity to be um, exploited within, within North America, it means that uh, comparatively, it's much harder when you go uh, outside of North America and going into Europe and Asia, where everything is done a little bit differently, uh, where there may be um, ways of thinking, ways of doing business right. that are not quite not quite the same. Um, and for us, it's it's been a it's been a, a learning curve. Emir and APAC are in intrinsically. Um, already very international markets. There's a lot of US companies who have uh, have come to Europe and Asia, uh, EMEA and APAC, um, but we haven't seen that going the other way. So for me, it's been fascinating seeing this entire enormous industry, this enormous market, and seeing that there is a, a different way of, of doing these things. So uh, it's, it's, it's been great, but uh, it's, it's like, a, it's like uh, a, a very large, a significant learning curve compared to just viewing it as another region, like right. when we you know, first went into Middle East or when we first went into uh, Southeast Asia, for example. It's definitely not just any other region, for no, sure. It is. It's. It's. It, I, we almost. We almost carve up the world into. When we talk about APAC, really, it's APAC without China, and I think when we're talking about the Americas, it's the it's it's the Americas almost without North America. You right. know, in terms of how how different each of those markets are. So yeah. so so true, totally different. And thank you for doing all that you do to help data centers and the industry learn and gain insight into these markets. It's critically important, especially as the industry continues to explode and grow. Yeah. Is there anything else that you wanted to add today? No, it's uh, I, I just want to thank everyone who uh, has taken the time to, uh, to to meet with us uh, on the trip um, we uh, we're, we're in learning mode right now okay. um, we've completed our first uh, our, our first review of, of the the America's markets that's the not just the tier one markets but the tier two and tier three markets but we're very much uh, coming to uh, coming to the region um, in in learning mode uh, open to suggestions opportunities anything like that that uh, that we can help with um, so yeah, um, get in touch. And how can viewers get in touch? Well, uh, we're very active on social media, so mm -hmm. you'll see a lot of um, uh, market spotlights and little information bits of uh, you know, uh, good insights that we can provide uh, on things like LinkedIn in particular. Um, but reach out to us directly. Come onto our website. Um, it's an open door. You know, we, we we're, we're here to talk and. Uh, uh, and discuss your your challenges and, and how we might be able to help. And the website is dcbyte.com. dcbyte.com. That's it's bytes been, with a bytes with a y. Bytes with a y. Yeah. B y t e. Yeah. Uh, Ed, it's been such a pleasure having you here on ITW Extra, powered by JSA. Thanks for all you do for our industry and all the great insights and research uh, that you are providing. 
And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to another episode of ITW Extra, powered by JSA, live from ITW 2023. Happy networking.